News. Hound Dog Steve Clark reporting on a uh, medicinal tonic. And uh, now there's no medical claims going on here. This is all anecdotal. This is uh, from my own observation. But it does come from this book here, uh, Folk Medicine. And this is the Vermont Medicine by the uh, Country Doctor. It's a New England almanac of natural health and care from a noted Vermont country doctor, D.C. Jarvis, M.D. And it is a great little book uh, in here. It will go through your body types, um, whether you're heavy set or uh, uh, slightly thinner, whether you are dark complexion or light complexion. Uh, it goes into many, many, many different aspects of um, health. Uh, alkalinity, acidity, and there are also many recipes for Vermont medicine. And uh, I'm going to show you the, uh, the the ingredients of Vermont medicine in a second. But uh, the reason that you might want to take this is because uh, people in North America are chronically low in iodine. And uh, again, I'm going to go over to the computer and I'm going to show you a couple of articles. Uh, one by the Center for Disease Control uh, that uh, says that tells you that we're low in iodine in, in North America, and iodine is hugely important with the uh, thyroid gland, and uh, hypothyroid or hypothyroidism is often caused by a lack of iodine, and of course with people on salt restricted diets. They're just not getting enough iodine in their body. And of course, those of you who live inland, um, basically, uh, we don't get enough seaweed or uh, seafood to uh, make up the iodine shortage. Okay, so here we are, uh, the CDC, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Uh, so this is um, a .gov put out there so uh, we were hoping that we can trust the information in here but it says iodine levels border on insufficiency in women of childbearing age okay so this is the iodine status in young women 20 to 39 years of age uh, this group had iodine levels that were just above iodine insufficiency okay iodine deficiency disorders include mental retardation hypothyroidism, goiter, cretinism, and varying degrees of other growth and development abnormalities. Iodine is especially important in women during childbearing years to ensure the best possible brain development of the fetus during pregnancy. Okay, so here are two articles that show you, um, I mean, I'm assuming that men because they're eating basically the same diet as their as their wives or their female counterparts uh, have obviously got to be in the same kind of situation. Um, so very important to get your iodine. Now I've been taking a Vermont medicine for about two years now. Now of course again I'm saying this is this is not a health claim. This is anecdotal. But I don't know if you look closely at my fingers there. Uh, I was getting calcium bumps or arthritis beginning on uh, these fingers. I use them a lot and they sure get hammered in the course of my business and daily work. And you know, I've noticed these bumps are no longer painful when I rub them. Uh, I can completely make a fist and open up again. Uh, I was finding I couldn't do, I was having difficulty doing this kind of a movement. And of course, because I play guitar and I cut hair, these 10 little digits here are hugely important in my life. So to feel that the arthritis is leaving my joints uh, is absolutely incredible. Uh, my general health is excellent. Um, I have no shortness of breath. I have no trouble getting up uh, for work in the morning and uh, by the way I'm 63 years old. Uh, I just found out the other day I have another 13 years to run on my mortgage so I will be working till at least 76 years old and possibly beyond that. So I really do want to focus on my health. Now another little thing for all of you people out there with floaters in your eyes. 
Uh, I had an operation on my left eye for a retinal detachment and of course that did some damage to the inside of the eye and uh, my right eye has got um, a couple of little floaters in it. These are bits of debris and skin that float down inside the eye and if you have uh, floaters you know exactly what I'm talking about. And I can tell you in the two years I've been taking Vermont medicine that the floaters have started to dissolve. Okay, I am no longer notice them, uh, noticing them as I did. Uh, they don't drift across my eyesight uh, uh, as they did as, as little pieces. They're almost uh, transparent. They've gone from a sort of blackish color to almost a sort of um, pale brown. I mean, they weren't hugely bad, but again, if you have floaters, you know how frustrating they are. So uh, I am thinking that this Vermont medicine has changed that aspect of my body. Um, how it does this, I have no idea. I can't explain it. Um, all I can say is I'm sure you've seen people with, uh, you know, when you get a, like a burst blood vessel in your eye and it all turns red and it looks just like, like horrible. It's like someone just poked you in the eye with a stick. Uh, where does that blood go to? You know, all of a sudden, somehow, the eye seals off that little blood vessel that burst, and the blood just disappears. It gets reabsorbed into the system somehow. How it does that, I don't know, but the body does that. The body is a self-healing unit, just as we scab up and scar up after cuts and scratches. Uh, I'm absolutely convinced that the body, every part of your body, is doing exactly the same thing. It's trying to heal itself. So what else have I noticed? I notice when I work I don't get sore or stiff. Um, I belong to the uh, Kawartha Recreational Hikers and um, although I haven't been on a hike since we got into winter time I have done some snowshoeing but uh, I was walking with these uh, mostly women, there were some other men but mostly women who were in their 50s and we would do a 12 kilometer hike around uh, the Kenry uh, conservation area and that would take us a little over two hours and this is across pretty rough terrain this is uphill down dale uh, tripping on stumps and roots and all of this kind of stuff and of course as you know I work in my garden all during the summertime so basically my, my regime is uh, I get up at uh, seven o'clock in the morning I get ready for work I arrive for work at 8 30 I work through till 4 in the afternoon, uh, then I come home and I start work in the house, whether it is repairing something, or going in the garden, or cooking, or cleaning, uh, on the computer. I commonly don't go to bed till 11.30 in the evening. Uh, so I'd say I'm a pretty energetic kind of personality, and uh, again, I think that the Lugol's iodine is working for me. Um, again, I'm not making any recommendations, I'm not making any health claims, this is all anecdotal, I'm not a doctor, this is purely and simply observations that I've made over the last two years. Um, because I do cook all my own food at home, I do eat out some, but uh, you know, I try and keep to uh, vegetarian, vegan, um, you know, decent restaurants where you're not going to get that greasy kind of fried stuff going on um, but um, my diet is so regular by and large that uh, I can tell when I change something uh, if it has an effect and just a little rule of thumb you know I, I find if I eat some food Okay, and about 20 minutes later, my stomach is feeling a little queasy. That is my body telling me that I should not be eating that food. And so anyway, this um, is very simple to make up. And I'm going to turn the camera down to the ingredients so that you can get a good look. And I will introduce them. And uh, then you'll know how to make Vermont medicine. Okay, so here it is. Here we have... Uh, this is unpasteurized honey that I get from the health food store. Uh, this is my vinegar shaker. It says uh, it's fish and chip vinegar, but actually it is apple cider vinegar. 
Now one of the things that you're going to see, see all that, um, the leaves down in the bottom, the dregs, uh, you always get this with organic cider. Um, it's just the way it is fermented. And uh, so don't worry about that, it'll sink to the bottom. And I usually just check out that last little bit. Um, here is a larger bottle. This happens to be uh, Phil Singer's, but I uh, just try and get some organic, any organic apple cider vinegar. Okay, now this is probably the most important ingredient. This is Lugol's iodine. Okay, so uh, this is uh, iodine and iodide together. And uh, very important ingredient. As I say, we're all uh, a little bit low in iodine in North America. And especially women. Women seem to be far more affected by thyroid issues than men do. Now, I will say this, that if there are any people who are listening to this and they're already taking a thyroid medication, I would not recommend that you try taking this unless you've consulted with your doctor and made sure that this is not going to affect your medication because I know people who are on thyroid medication and I know one woman, oh my God, uh, she was on thyroid medication. She was visiting her family in Nova Scotia and uh, she ran out of medication. And so she came off basically cold turkey and she, her body went into a meltdown. You just cannot believe what your thyroid controls. It's a very, very, very important organ. Okay, so a little bottle like this cost me about $10 at the pharmacy. And then I transferred it into a bottle, you know, with a, with a little dropper in there. Okay, so it makes it easy, easy to dispense. So into this glass, you are going to put two teaspoonfuls of apple cider vinegar, one teaspoonful of honey, the Lugol's iodine, uh, if you are over 150 pounds, uh, you will take two drops of Lugol's iodine. And if you are under 150 pounds, you will take one drop of Lugol's iodine. Uh, so you will put all of these things together in this glass, and then I would fill up to about halfway with, uh, with water. And basically it tastes like apple juice, sweetened apple juice. Uh, you'll catch the honey overtone. Uh, anyways, basically um, the apple cider vinegar slightly it gives, your, it gives your system a bit of an acid wash and um, the Lugol's iodine replaces the iodine in, in your body that you need and the honey of course gives you a potassium. Okay. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to take this once a day. Uh, I usually take it at lunchtime, uh, have it with my meal, and I will sip that glass, that drink, uh, as I'm eating my meal. And um, usually, well, I get Thursday afternoons off work, Sunday and Monday. Okay, so I don't do this on Thursday, Sunday or Monday. So I'm only doing this four days a week. So I always figure that um, if I am taking a little too much on those uh, two and a half days I'm not taking it, I figure my body will just uh, absorb any excess in the system. And uh, anyway, I would highly recommend that you buy this book. Uh, it's in paperback, it's also in hardcover. Uh, this cost me, what does it say on here, uh, uh, eight, $8.99, dollars uh, uh, from any Canadian bookstore. The uh, hardcover is a little bit more expensive and maybe it uh, contains a little bit more, uh, but this will get you going and, uh, you know, like I say, for $9, uh, I'd say that's cheap at the price, but read through this. Okay, it will give you many different recipes. Uh, there are recipes for sleeplessness, there are recipes for nervousness, there are recipes for the expectant mother. Um, there is a lot of information in this little book. Okay, so this is a little tonic I've been taking for two years. I've got nothing but good to say about it. And um, 
Well, if you like this video and you um, think that this is an okay thing to do, get the book and try it yourself and uh, take care of your health at home, the inexpensive way. I'm not a big fan of drugs of any kind and so um, yeah this for me is the way I like to do my business. Well this is Hound Dog Steve signing off and I hope you have a great week coming up. Please like and subscribe below and um, yeah do your body a favor. Good night.